Hello, everyone. Welcome back to ERA's Think Tank. Today, we're delving into a dark chapter of psychology history that many may not be aware of, the monster experiment. It's a story of unethical research that shook the foundations of psychological ethics. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and let's get started. Our story begins in 1939 at the University of Iowa, where a controversial study known as the Monster Experiment took place. Led by Wendell Johnson, a speech pathologist, and his graduate student Mary Tudor, the study aimed to understand the development of stuttering in children. But what happened next was a shocking series of events that would haunt the participants for years to come. Imagine being a child in an orphanage, already facing the challenges of life without parents. Now picture being part of an experiment that was supposed to help you, but instead it became a source of trauma. Wendell Johnson and Mary Tudor recruited 22 children from the Iowa Soldiers' Orphans' Home. Half were placed in the control group, receiving positive speech therapy, while the other half were subjected to what can only be described as negative therapy. Negative therapy involved constant criticism, labeling the children as stutterers and highlighting their speech defects. The idea was to explore the role of negative reinforcement in the development of stuttering. This took a dark turn as the children in the experimental group experienced severe emotional trauma. They developed speech issues, lower self-esteem, and some even refused to speak altogether. The shocking part? The results were never officially published. The study remained hidden until one of the participants, Mary Tudor, spoke out about it in the late 1990s. The monster experiment had a lasting impact, not for its scientific contributions, but for the ethical questions it raised. Mary Tudor, one of the architects of the study later expressed regret, stating that the experiment had caused harm to the children involved. The monster experiment triggered significant changes in how research involving human subjects is conducted. It emphasized the importance of informed consent, protection from harm, and debriefing after the study. The ethical standards we have today in psychology owe much to the dark lessons learned from this experiment. And there you have it, the haunting tale of the monster experiment. If you found this video informative, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with others. We'll be back with more deep dives into fascinating and sometimes chilling corners of history. Until next time, stay curious.